Well, it wouldn't be a normal Sunday without me making fun of some Asian girl's ridiculous diet, right? So, let's see how to clean your gut with a balanced diet. Bro, well, I could be proved wrong because half the food sh she showed was uh, beef and bacon. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you guys write by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day. I know this video is titled Summer Diet, but it's not necessarily to lose weight, but rather just to eat clean because I've been suffering from a lot of bloating and stomach issues. And I'll also be showing you guys what I do for my physical activities. I'm going to be having this peanut butter that just has peanuts. If you look at the ingredients, it's literally just 100% selected roasted peanuts. There's no added sugars or... Peanuts are kind of inflammatory. I'm sure we've done, yeah, we definitely did a video explaining like the mycotoxins, the anti-nutrients, the fatty acid profile of peanut butter. Like, yeah, they're delicious and calorically dense, but especially now with most people having some degree of, of gut and health issues, it's just too, it's they're just too inflammatory to justify including them in any diet whatsoever. Macadamia nuts are the best option, but honestly, anything besides peanut butter, you're much better off with. Or anything, it obviously doesn't taste as good, but but it's so much healthier. I used to eat peanut butter jelly religiously in high school, but that spikes your blood sugar level so badly. Try to stick to something that's less sugary. Worrying about something uh, like so, uh, minuscule is one word you could use, rudimentary, but bl your blood sugar is insignificant compared to your cellular health. Like, like you're worrying about something that's that literally does not matter at all. Like, okay, your blood sugar spike. What's the big deal? Now your cells are made up of peanut butter and like non-organic inflammatory fortified white bread. It's pe people are focused on the wrong things. We have finally made it to Costco. We're Boo. Gonna pick up some healthy Boo. ingredients for dinner. You guys just watched the Costco clip. You're now obligated to go to frankiestrangemeat.com and stare at the website for 20 seconds. It's a requirement. Tonight, stay away from most of the junk food, hopefully. But their cookies here are so good. Oh my god, they still have hair. <gasps> this coffee is so good. So manuka honey, I mean I've looked into this. It's it's kinda like snake oil. I mean I mean honey is still a high quality product, but the, the properties of uh the thing they measure, like the MG two sixty three plus, you'd be surprised. Some of these honeys are like some of it's easily over a hundred dollars. And because I couldn't find like legitimate studies showing that this stuff is actually having a significant impact on people's health. I couldn't justify selling it or recommending it myself. Uh, I mean, it might have some type of like antimicrobial properties in on a wound, but in, a, in your body, it's like, surprise it's so expensive. I mean, I mean, I guess there's a lot of snake oil stuff like that, that, yeah, I mean, and there's billions and billions of dollars worth of it being sold. That's not actually good for your health. It's more of like a myth. But people are so used to things like not actually working that they just take stuff that people tell them they think is good. You know, it's like people taking ginger turmeric shots because it's destroying their liver in the morning. Well, at least that does make you feel different. I, to this day, hate mushrooms, but I love the scent of it, so I love mushroom pasta, mushroom soup, but I can't with the texture of it. It's so slimy. I have to head out to go to Pilates soon in like 30 minutes, but after Pilates, I'm also going to my friend's house to plan out like our summer plans because I'm going to Japan, Korea, and Bali with her. But she said that we're also going to be cooking because she recently moved into her new house. That is the cool thing. 
Juarez is pretty good exercise compared to like some girls just like go on the treadmill or go on the stairmaster. <laughs> Costco used to be our second home. Now it's like we buy not even ten things and it's like three hundred, four hundred dollars. So you got you know a cold brew coffee in plastic. It's probably not organic. You know the the water's full of fluoride, chlorine, and and, and that's a big thing that's kind of hard to single out of your diet unless you're preparing and making everything yourself because just buying like one loaf of even organic bread from the supermarket or or just one drink you know coca-cola you're already ruining you know the elimination of fluoride and chlorine from your diet in the water source so that that's that's one thing that's pretty hard for people to get on top of uh, which is probably a bigger deal than actually having the coffee and the caffeine stress on the adrenal itself. It really depends on how much how much you're drinking and how healthy the rest of your diet is. It's like, what is going on? I love black coffee. I like to drink my coffee black in the summertime. Yes. No! I don't really care. I think she just had some of the honey, which is kind of ironic if she's eating manuka honey on a plastic fork, you know. So, so far we had some peanut butter on a slice of white bread and some coffee. So, you know, you're not giving yourself B vitamins, you're not giving yourself healthy saturated fats, just... You know, some amount of caloric energy, so it's not that great. Could it be worse? How would it be worse? I guess the only thing worse would be if you she didn't give herself any calories if she's doing some vegan, like, high anti-nutrient kale shake nonsense. I messed up Pilates. I was so tired. I need water. I forgot to bring my water bottle. Yeah, I wonder why you're tired. For lunch, we're going to be making dakoki, thanks to Mother Taylor. Maybe like have a one shot. I'm not a bartender, but I know for a fact that is not a shot. That is a whole ass measuring cup. Hmm. My skin has been very dry for the past couple of weeks. Oh, this is hilarious, bro. She like barely eats anything. She goes to the gym dying, doesn't hydrate, comes home, shows her friend making some booze, booze drink. And then we have a sponsorship about, oh yeah, I wonder why your skin's not clear. Week, so whenever I put on makeup, there's always been issues with dry patches and texture. But if you guys take a look at my skin right now. Maybe it's now, because your diet is peanut butter sandwiches and vodka. Looks literally flawless. I look like a peeled egg. So I wanted to show you guys how I've been doing my face makeup. So thanks to Tear Tear for sponsoring this portion of the video. Yeah, I know Tear Tear through their viral cushion foundation, but they also sell amazing skin. All right, well, yeah, I guess if, if, if you want to follow this diet, you might need to buy her skincare crap. So keep that in mind. All right, we got a long sponsorship. Let's get back to the booze drink. Now, be honest, like we're talking crap, but if these Asian girls showed up to your door and wanted to make you some crappy pina colada, you'd probably suck it right down, right? I mean, th there's a big difference between like like a crappy pre-mixed pina colada drink that's full of chemicals and low quality stuff versus, you know, an organic wine, even just white wine or uh, some higher quality alcohol options that you can have, especially organic or biodynamic. You're just going to feel a lot better. <laughs> are you a dog person or a cat person? I am definitely a cat person. Are you crazy? I, mean, I, I feel like your personality is still like dog. Oh, he's even a childhood friend. Now, now, the reason I picked this video is because it was short. It was less than 10 minutes. And it said, clean your gut with a balanced diet. So generally, when someone is going to title their video implying that they have some sort of health or nutritional guidance it means that we're gonna see something at least interesting or that has some truth to it but i don't know what she's doing uh, okay literally <laughs> so you watched the no, yeah. but i don't think you have a taste in men yeah i don't think i do <laughs> like, if i buy with you i buy with you you look at the weirdest Mo most asian girls just like tall ugly dudes that's how it is tall ugly white dudes
best actors ever and you're like, oh my god, this guy's so hot! Why like guys? Like he is not hot. Robert Pattinson! <laughs> There's a reason why you They gotta be like a little fruity too. They gotta they can't have too deep of a voice. They gotta sound like they play with dudes. They gotta be like not harmful, you know? Non threatening. Play Batman. Do you think I'm Kim Tian's hot from the movie? He's too like hot. Too hot to die. He's like too like perfect image. So you like the drug addict. He can they What? Can't too perfect. Wow, you're so organized. I don't think I would clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite ingredient of the world? Garlic. Hot and mother. It is so convenient. Thank you, H Mart. Oh, this is failure. Don't do you approve I'm, of this? I mean, I'm guessing culinary. that's some type of like rice starch thing. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it could be some type of fish thing too if they're grilling it. I honestly have no clue what that is. The mushroom. Really is so good. Can you tell us what it is? You need like sweat proof makeup. It's so so hard. You need to use um tear tear foundation. But like it literally doesn't transfer. Alright, well, hopefully someone in the chat tells us what that is. Uh I mean there's a possible chance we can go back through and they and they and she said what it was in the captions or she showed the package, but if that is just some type of like rice starch thing, it you know, we know the downsides of white rice are that it can be high in arsenic and uh, even if it's white rice, brown rice is much worse. And it, it's probably made with like a low quality water source. If that's some type of like fish blended concoction, hey, at least she's getting some omega-3, but there might be like some chemicals, preservatives, and, and lower quality, more polluted fish in it. And the, the Asian like dressings and stuff they put on them, when, it, when they're traditionally homemade with quality ingredients, it's fine. But if you're putting like Heinz ketchup and all this low quality crap in there, plastic, it's just not great. Yeah. This video is sponsored by Two Tree. Wow! <laughs> well, I don't think I've ever seen someone just like drop the ball, like title their video like this, and then just do random stuff. Like, eat like I guess eat like a college kid. Who know? What do you even call it? <laughs> Salmon looks pretty good, at least. My mom made Korean tenjang jjigae with this miso paste that she got from the countryside of Korea and apparently it tastes different. Korean barbecue! I am not having any rice because I had stuff but... Oh, okay. So hold on. She just said what it was. Those... Oh, we were right. Those were some rice cakes. So um, I'm a little on top of it. So she just had rice cakes for lunch with some sauce on them, which I think is completely ridiculous because she hasn't had any protein all day or any B vitamins all day or any like significantly healthy, like any, fi she hasn't really had any fiber either. So this is a pretty horrible diet. Uh, she's just like having some calories and starch to get her through the day, barely anything. And now she's saying she's not eating rice for, for, uh, what, what's, what's her idea of cleaning your gut, not eating sugar? Like... I mean, this Korean barbecue, the, the spread of stuff generally, it's all, it's usually freshly made, single ingredients, high quality, a lot of meat to choose from. It's generally a very, very healthy way to eat. I, the Koreans are usually very healthy people. If they follow their natural diet, they're, they're indigenous or they're... What am I saying? Their their cultural diet. Could could do without the tofu, but see so she's eating like lettuce and vegetables instead of carbs. It's so bad for you to sleep right after you. I mean, this this idea of avoiding carbs and starch, and then people still have like unhealthy skin, and they don't have a good body composition. Well, if the diet if the diet's lacking protein, animal protein, it doesn't matter how much crap you avoid, your body isn't going to look good because you can't synthesize the muscle tissue. You know, I, I eat whatever I want as much as I want, but since it's all high quality 
organic food and I avoid the vegetable seed oils, my body composition is always going to look good. That, that's the hard thing to get into people's heads if they haven't. And I feel bad for these people that have an eating disorder or they're afraid of calories or they're afraid of sugar. They've been somehow indoctrinated by modern conventional dietary wisdom that they're going to get fat, that they're going to look bad if they eat a lot of food. But if you go high quality, if you're eating grass-fed beef, homemade organic sourdough, duh, 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 depending on your starting point, you can eat whatever you want, as much as you want. And over a period of time, you will always have a healthy looking body composition. Granted, you know, there's a little bit of exercise involved. You've reduced radiation exposure. You're grounding. There, there's a few other lifestyle factors that have to be in check. But um, it's unfortunate that people are restricting themselves and they feel like crap and they're not eating what they want and the food doesn't even taste good. It's uh, definitely not easy to figure that stuff out on your own. Eat and sleep with makeup on, but double kill that's exactly what i did it's so important to drink a lot of water uh, yeah could i just have a pearl of milk tea please uh 50 percent sugar and regular ice yeah yeah i mean i mean these types of drinks like you know Made, made again, made with the fluoridated, chlorinated water, a lot of sugar, T tea leaves have a lot of fluoride. They're usually low quality conventional stuff. Tapioca is conventional, very processed. The the pearls in there. This is like, this is probably one of the worst things you can actually have for your gut health, especially a large volume of liquid sugar, you know, spreading throughout your stomach, yeast overgrowth. Yeah, I mean, if you spend the money on food instead of all this skincare crap, you don't need it. You won't need it. It really just brings your mind peace. It smells so. Yeah, inhale so, inhale more of those fumes. You need some more peace. Before I read, before I go to bed, I like to just burn one. All right, I think uh, I think that's all the the dietary wisdom we need for today, right? Daisy in her summer era. I'm so excited for the summer content. I mean, she doesn't have like a, a health oriented viewer base. It seems like she just kind of did this randomly, uh, and she has a lot of followers, like 1.3 million. So I don't really think this would might have been the best thing to critique. Study vlog, productive vlog, aesthetic unboxing, New York vlog. I mean, she. I mean, she doesn't really do. I don't think. I don't even know if she's ever done a health-oriented diet video. But this. I mean. All right. Can we be constructive? All right. What 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 can we change in what what this girl's eating? So, for the breakfast, I guess if she went with organic sourdough bread or something, and then put a a healthier nut butter, like oh well, you could go to FrankieStrangeFoods.com. Buy yourself some organic flour, make your own bread, get some, uh, some one of our artisanal jams. We have new jams now, apricot, fig, and wild mulberry. Put one of those jams on there with the macadamia nut butter, and you'll have a much healthier breakfast option. Uh, the coffee, if you just go organic, high quality, make it yourself, that's good. Uh, or you could like, we have, we have a lot of natural glandulars and stuff on organ supplements that would, you know, they, they'd, uh, they'd uh, whip you right up. You wouldn't need to drink any coffee. Even taking like B vitamins or vitamin C would help that. Uh, for for lunch, I mean, I wouldn't even call that lunch. She had some like rice cakes with sauce on them. Uh, maybe just having, I guess, protein skewers in there uh, would, would be like a, a minimally invasive change to that. Just have some like skewered fish or some protein in there with those rice cakes. At least you're getting some animal proteins and B vitamins. The stuff that you actually need for your skin health and to repair the gut lining and all that stuff. And then... Uh, dinner i can't complain too much about she just needs to have some more starch and probably some more fiber sources in there maybe even some probiotic foods and then uh, have, having the you know if, if everything else in the diet wasn't checked going out and having a bubble tea like that i guess isn't the end of the world but uh maybe having a more pro some probiotic pills or something water or some kefir grains or something with that can also help uh but i guess that's it i mean like 
I mean, if I, if I, like, if I watch these ahead of time, I probably would never critique any of them, but, uh, I guess, I guess, uh, you gotta be, you know, you gotta be careful, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm assuming people are just watching her for fun and they're not actually really being influenced by these dietary choices, but, but that really doesn't make sense to me. Like, why, why would you call this a diet and say, clean your gut with a balanced diet when you're clearly not dieting or, or trying to do anything? I mean, I, I'm guessing, and she didn't explain it or say it, that she's just avoiding sugar and then a lot of and a higher carbohydrate content, which isn't necessarily like going to fix your stomach or heal you. And and to say that she's avoiding sugar, yeah, maybe most of the day, but then she has that tea at the end of the day, which does it's whatever. But thank you guys for joining me. If you go to frank uh you can support me through all of my uh, high quality and unique health oriented businesses, Frankie Strange Meat. They got a lot of restocks, a lot of interesting stuff, guys. We're giving away uh, the liverwurst free with every order. That was placed last week and this week moving forward. Frankie Strange Foods, uh, some new artisanal products. Definitely check out the website. Oregon Supplements, we restocked everything. We're going to have some new stuff in a month or two. Wi-Fi shielding, we got the t-shirts and underwear back. Uh, we'll have the sweats back next week, hopefully. Uh, Naturals, we just launched the Cavity Cure Toothpaste and something very funny that I'll talk about in the next vlog. Very funny. Kind of a joke, kind of inappropriate. And then, uh, did I miss a business? Probably did. Probably did, but frankdestefano.com. Thanks again for joining, guys. Mm -hmm.